All right, everyone, I am finally sharing the numbers, a real life example of a situation that happened where we had a client offer 500,000 for a home, putting 10% down, brought his monthly payment around 3,200 and total funds to close just over 60,000. And the house appraised for $30,000 under, so it appraised at 470. And most people think, well, then I have to make up the difference of $30,000 because that's the difference between the sales price and what it actually appraised at. But what you see here from our chart with our app appraisal gap strategy, this is why it is so important to be working with a mortgage lender that understands strategy and is not just a loan officer because our client was able to close on this loan with a little bit less money needed to closing even though the house appraised for thirty thousand dollars under so what you can see here is the purchase price is still five hundred thousand the loan amount is 446 the interest rate is a little bit higher to keep these funds to close down i could have kept this rate at the 2.874 and they would have brought about 47 about 4400 dollars more to closing but for this particular client, they wanted to keep their funds to close roughly the same. So we raised the rate a bit and look at this, their monthly payment went up less than hundred dollars a month. So yes, even if your home appraises for less than maybe what you offered the seller, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to bring all those funds to closing, but you gotta be working with a real estate team that knows strategy and is not just an order taker.